Picking the best robo vacuum can be so confusing because there's a ton of options out there. All of them coming with different features, cleaning abilities, build qualities, and price points. Don't worry, I'm the smart shopper and I'm going to be discussing the best robo vacuum based on performance and value and the situations where these robo vacuums are best suitable for so that you can go out there and pick the best one for your unique circumstances. Be sure to watch the entire video because there are a couple of surprises in there. And now if at any point of the video that you find yourself saying, whoa, this is an impressive vacuum, but I wonder how much it costs. Well, then go ahead and check the description down below to find the most accurate pricing based on where you live. All right, we're going to be starting off the list with the best bang for buck robo vacuum on the market right now. And in my opinion, the best overall robo vacuum, the Roomba J7. First thing right off the bat, it does come in at a medium to higher price point for robo vacuums, depending on where you live. But I will say that this one does pack a punch. It offers excellent cleaning power, an impressive app, plenty of extra features, and a really nice design. This is also the first Roomba with AI obstacle avoidance, which means you don't actually have to tidy up before you run your vacuum. Pretty sweet, right? But I think the real benefit of this tech is that it rarely gets stuck doing the job. And if you've ever used a robo vacuum before, you know how annoying that can be. So at this price point, you are getting a couple of really nice features. You are paying for home mapping and compatibility with voice assistance, which is really nice. And if you are one of those people that likes to run their vacuums on a regular schedule, well, then the app can also handle that. All in all, if you are somebody that's looking for a vacuum that just always gets the job done and you're willing to spend a few more bucks to get great performance and get really clean floors, well, then I highly recommend this robo vacuum for you. But if you are a really lazy person when it comes to cleaning your home like I am, you should consider a robo vacuum and mop combo. The one I recommend is the Roborock S7. This hybrid vacuum slash mopping robot does both jobs really well. And that's because Roborock designed a map that not only vibrates 3000 times a second to simulate some good old fashioned scrubbing, but also made room for an extra large water tank so that the mop can get wet enough to actually be effective. The cool thing about this robot is that you can actually use it as two separate robots, a vacuum and a mop, as it has a mop only mode that moves in a tighter Z pattern to go over the floors twice. The S7 is the best option for a bot that can actually mop at a semi accessible price. It does require a bit more hands on effort since you have to refill the reservoir and wash the mopping pads. But if you don't want to do that, stay tuned for the next vacuum. Now, for those of you that don't care about price and just want the best of the best, well, then you can take the last vacuum, the S7, and get its older brother, the Pro model with all of the bells and whistles. I'm talking about the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. This is the latest innovation in robo vacuums, which is a vacuum slash mop combo that can empty its bin, refill the mopping reservoir, and then clean and dry the mop. It can literally do everything. It can even cook you breakfast in the morning. A few moments later. Okay, maybe it can't cook you breakfast, but it can do a lot. Essentially, it can do everything that the regular S7 can. So all of the mapping and AI navigation and connecting to the voice assistants. However, it can also self clean its mop and refill its reservoirs. So in theory, you don't really have to touch anything until your entire house is clean. The one downside about a device like this is that the charging slash cleaning base is kind of big and not all that attractive. While it's well designed, it does get a bit smelly after a few cleans. So you do periodically need to clean the mopping station. Other than that, if you can afford this RoboVac, this is the one to go for. Now, I can hear what some of you guys are saying. Smart. That last option was so cool and futuristic, but that price point, it's a little ridiculous. Who wants to pay over a grand for a robo vacuum? Don't worry, I got you. Next up is a budget friendly option so that you can tidy up on a budget. The Roborock E4 is our pick for the best budget robo vac. Now, I will say one thing that there are a few cheaper options out there, but with robo vacuums, you never really want to go with the cheapest option. The Roborock is the one that works fairly well at this price point, unlike some of the other options, and it comes in at around 200 bucks, maybe even a bit cheaper if you can pick it up on sale. The E4 also packs a powerful 5200 milliamp hour battery, the same one that's found in the higher end Roborock S7, allowing it to run for about 200 minutes, which is absolutely unheard of of robots in this price range. As with most budget friendly robo vacuum cleaners, there are no mapping features. So if you do need to create keep out zones and doors won't work, you will probably have to purchase some magnetic tape to create barriers. However, it 
is still compatible with Google Home and Amazon's Alexa, but without mapping, uh, the voice commands are pretty much limited to start, stop, and pause. However, this is still a great option for a budget RoboVac. All right, next up, for those of you that don't want an over-the-top vacuum and just need something that will automatically clean a small space, well, then we have the Eufy G20 Hybrid. This small, practically silent robot is actually ideal and an inexpensive option for a cozy apartment or to use as a second bot for an upstairs space or a home office. Now, because it's meant for a smaller space and it does come in at a budget price, it means that it lacks the mapping features. It has no smart obstacle avoidance and it only runs for 90 minutes. But because it is a smaller unit, it can easily fit under furniture and it has a pretty sleek and stylish design. But I will say it does have a pretty large dustbin despite being tiny that means you won't be emptying the dustbin every two seconds if you are someone that wants to spend a few extra hundred dollars you can also upgrade and pick the model with a mop attachment for about a hundred dollars more which is a pretty sweet deal if you want me for a mopping slash vacuuming robo combo and with that those are our five picks for the best robo vacuums for the year please consider subscribing to the video and liking it if you enjoyed it